That's too early to say how it could happen because that's exactly what uh, the police investigation is uh, about, is to find out what happened, uh, how could it happen, and, uh, and then I think this is such a serious act of violence. So I believe very strongly that we should not jump to any conclusions. We should uh, await the results of the investigation. Then we have the facts, then we can uh, draw the conclusions. So. Do you not think that more police monitoring, more vigilance might have helped prevent this? It, it was, is Norway too trusting of its people, in other words? Bombs shall not force us to uh, to silence, we shall still be an open democratic society with an open political debate. Do you think the problem in the West might have been security agencies focusing too much on what they call the Islamist threat rather than looking at acts of political violence by, by the extreme right? Now is not the time for those conclusions. Uh, now is the time for care, for comfort, uh, for support uh, of those who have lost uh, their road ones. This was more than an attack on Norwegian citizens. It was an attack on people who worked closely with you, who knew you, people in your office, uh, people in the youth movement of your Labour Party. How has this affected you personally? How are you dealing with it? Of course it has added to the burden uh, that uh, some of those who lost their lives were people working uh, in the government building where I work uh, and uh, also that uh, many of the uh, young people that lost their lives at the Labour Party uh, youth camp are people I uh, knew and uh, I knew their parents, their friends and uh, this youth camp is a national uh, youth camp that takes place every year I, I myself have participated every summer since 1974. It's an important institution within the labor movement, the Labour Party. And uh, it's, 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 a, it's a place where generations of young politicians have learned politics, have discussed, have uh, been educated. And, uh, and it's a great expression of democracy. Uh, and now suddenly this, this is the place where we have seen the the most brutal expression of violence uh, in Norway since the Second World War. That adds uh, to the burden for all of us, but uh, also for me since, since I'm so close uh, to the place to the, to, and, and, and to the people. Surely something has changed in Norway. Norway will not be the same after. We're going to have a Norway before and a Norway after the bomb and the killings. But Norway is going to be uh, possible to recognize and uh, that's the message from me and, for, uh, and, and from the people of Norway.